What's good, Grey Gang? We're here today, and we're actually going to be doing the Breast Cancer Awareness Fishing Challenge. So today's challenge is to actually go out, catch bass on all pink lures. And a cool little bonus beyond that is I'm actually going to be using this spinning rod here, which, you know, it's sort of faded out, but it actually has hot pink line on it. Well, whenever I put it on, it was hot pink. Now it's, um, uh, well, not exactly hot pink, I guess. But anyways, we're actually going to dig through all my tackle and pick out all my pink stuff. We are going to be using these bubblegum trick worms right here. And actually, I didn't buy these right here. These were actually sent in fan mail, so whoever sent these thanks because we're definitely putting them to use today but besides those worms let's see what else we can get let's see i should have something in here this is my little spinnerbait box oh yeah boom diggity pink spinnerbait let's take a look here in this jig box oh wow look what a conveniently placed marabou jig that wasn't staged at all yes it was but as of now we got pink worms pink spinnerbait pink little jig right there let's see what else we got let's look at my crankbaits uh no not any pink and crankbaits maybe uh this thing no pink in that stuff maybe these crankbaits mm, no not in them Either. Well, dang. What about these? Oh, yes, yes, we do. We actually do have a jerk bait. Oh, yeah, baby. Got a little hot pink egg trap right there. And this one's actually got saltwater hooks, so that may be interesting. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any top water in here? Well, sort of. We got this white and sort of pink frog. And here we go for the Hail Mary. Anything pink in here? Nope. And here seems to be our final lineup here. First things first, we got some hot pink trick worms. Next, we got this little marabou jig. And then, of course, can't forget the old reliable spinnerbait. We're kind of bending the rules on this frog, but nevertheless, we do have a semi-pink frog. And ending off our lineup with this saltwater jerkbait. But before we can do a fishing challenge, we gotta get somewhere where there's some water. And there is no water right here because it's a garage. Let's go. Now, guys, just a little disclaimer. This hill right here, it has been known not to be the easiest hill to get up. But here we go. Yeah, bust it wide open, boys. Bust it wide open. Oh, yeah. We made it, though. We made it, though. That's all that matters. We're good. Now, let's just crack into our little arsenal of breast cancer baits right here. And, I mean, first thing I think of is let's try to catch one on this worm. If I catch one on the worm, we'll switch to something. We'll just see how they bite. I mean, if the bass are just clobbering a worm, then, yeah, we'll keep using a worm. But, you know, we're going to experiment today. We'll probably throw the spinner bait a little bit. We'll definitely throw this, you know, maybe catch a few Boone and Crockett bluegill. But, you know, today we're just going to experiment and have fun fishing. And like I said, I believe the first thing we're going to be using is this little trick worm. But the way we're going to rig it is, you know, just as simple. Just right through the middle, whack your rigging it, boom, boom, boom. That ought to catch us a bass real quick. Here we go. First cast right there, right over there next to that lay down. Let's see what we can do. There he is. Oh, got him. Man, dude, this is my first cast. Actually, that's supposed to be bad luck. If you catch one on your first cast, isn't that supposed to be bad luck, guys? Comment below. Do you guys believe in that? That if you catch one on your first cast, it's bad luck? I mean, to be honest, guys, whenever I catch one on my first cast, I think it's good luck. So, you know, there's one little fish. We're going to keep fishing a little bit with that worm since, you know, it just caught one on its first stinking cast. But yeah, comment below and tell me, do y'all actually believe that that's bad luck? Here we go, our second cast. If we catch a fish on our second cast, like, boy, that's going to be crazy. But then again, the bad luck says that if you catch one on your first cast, that'll be the only fish you catch. We'll see. We'll see if that's true today. Hopefully not. A few moments later. Well, it's been about 30 minutes and, uh, not really got a bite. I'm starting to think, like, bro, is that bad luck actually real? I mean, yeah, I've fished for a long time and I've heard everybody say, oh, if you catch a fish on your first cast, it's bass luck. But I mean, I never really believed it. And then today I catch a fish on my first cast and I've not got a bite in 30 minutes. So like, bro, that may not be a good thing at all. I'm honestly starting to get freaked out a little bit. Not going to lie. There he is. Yes, there's a bass. I've broken the curse, bro. I've stinking broken the curse. I just hooked a fish. Okay, that's the thing. I've not got him in yet. He could flop off at any moment. Okay, well, right now he's hung up in some thick grass, but we can get him out of there. But I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Flip him up here. Boom, baby. I just broke. I just broke the curse. That curse ain't got nothing on me. I don't know, but this fish has got some problems, bro. He's way too hyper. And he's not a bad fish either, that's for sure. But anyways, guys, we officially broke the curse. It is not a bad thing to catch one on your first cast. However, I am going to say it may be a mental game. If you believe it, hey, it may actually be bad luck. But if you ask me, I don't think it's bad luck. I think it's just a coincidence. Now, because we did catch two fish on the worms, and we do want to use as many baits as possible, I'm actually switching it up, and now we're going to be throwing this little pink mini king swim bait. I mean, not a swim bait, but this little spinner bait right here. No doubt in my mind, this right here is going to snag us a few bass. Like, guys, I literally know people that, like, go all out with that rule, and they think it's bad luck. They think it's so bad luck that if they accidentally do hook one, accidentally in their words, if they accidentally do hook one on their first cast, they'll try all they can to try to shake him off the hook. Like, that's how, that's how much they believe in that stuff. But without further ado... Let's swing this spinnerbait. There he is. 
There's another fish right there in the spinner bait. Didn't take me too long. Probably took me, I don't know, four or five minutes. But look at look at him fight the rod tip, guys. He's not a big one because, well, I mean, he's just not a big one. And boom, he's caught up in the grass too. I believe I can pull him through here. Yeah, here we go. Pull him right up here. Not a macho bass. Macho being like six pounds, but like still. Still a nice bass and still fun to catch. We're going to get this little guy back, right back in there as fast as we can. Then we're going to keep chugging this spinner bait. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now you can see the hot pink line. Now that I cat made a long cast and a lot of the old line that gets in the water is going, you can really see how it's hot pink. Earlier, it wasn't even hot pink. It was more like just a faded out white. But, yeah, now you can see the hot pink line. There's one. And guys, to be completely honest, like straight up, first of all, I saw this challenge in the comments of one of my videos. So I was looking through the comments. I seen, oh, a breast cancer all pink challenge. That'll be really cool. Then whenever I actually got over here to the water and looked at all the baits I had, I was like, oh, dang. What if the bass just like don't want to eat pink today? But fortunately, they do want to eat pink today. And uh, well, yeah, we're actually catching them pretty good. But since that makes the second one on the spinner bait. Let's go change. Before I change baits, I just want to let you guys know that the reason we're doing this video is for breast cancer awareness and that if you're really into it and really want to raise awareness, for a limited time only, the month of October, I'm actually selling these limited edition signature series that are in pink and on the sleeve they've even got the ribbon. Now like I just said, they're only going to be out for October, so I think that's what, 10, 9, 11 days, something like that? You don't have much time to get them. So if you're thinking that you might want one, I'd head on over there to KendallGrade1.com right now and you know, get them because like I said, the time, the timer is down. But when you buy one of these shirts, not only are you one, raising awareness, but you're also supporting the channel and a percentage of the proceeds from all these shirts actually goes to the ABC Foundation, which is the American Breast Cancer Foundation. And you also get one of these pink breast cancer awareness bracelets thrown in for free. And you know why you're over there at kindlegrade1.com slash shop? Just go ahead and check out the hats too. I got these hats, the snapback, one size fits most. That way you can be ripping the gray gang head to toe. But now let's pick a bait and let's change over from the spinner bait. So right away, we've done use the worms, we've done use the spinner bait now what we have is this little grub right here the frog or we could go with the jerk bait. but since we've already caught four bass today i'm thinking let's put on this little marabou roadrunner and let's try to get us a little boone and crockett bluegill right here before the night's over well guys i mean the booners just aren't biting here the big macho bluegill just aren't biting however i do have an idea where they may be y'all ready to transport let's go oh yeah here we are back here hopefully we can get some booners out of this place i'm almost positive we can though maybe even a bass to be honest we may get a small bass out of here but then you never know we may get an aggressive 60 pound catfish that's just you know you never know i've caught a snapping turtle on a cinco before so the odds are stacked for this little road runner oh oh that's a bass that's a bass there that ain't no bluegill baby he blew up on that thing. I mean, like, boys, he straight up blew up on it. This ain't no dink, neither. I think this is a pretty mighty one. Oh, yeah, it is. This is a good one. This is a good bass right here. Biggest one of the day by far. Well, he may not be. He's definitely the fattest bass today, though. That wasn't even expected, guys. I wasn't even... Oh. And we can actually read this bass. Now, yeah, this is a pretty good-sized bass, right? Not a giant, not a dink, but a pretty good-sized bass. And I was actually only after a panfish, guys. I only wanted a Boone and Crockett bluegill, but I got more than I asked for. I'll always take that. Now, like I just mentioned, reading the bass, look here on his lips, guys. It's got a red front lip, and if you can look back there on his crushers, which are, well, way back there in the back, those are also red. What that means is that this guy has been crushing things. Crushing things as in, you know, crawfish, stuff like that. But not necessarily been eating, but not necessarily been eating them, uh, shad and bait fish. Now, a lot of people will say, yeah, they're red because that's the color of the crawfish. Not necessarily. The reason that their lips and crushers are red is actually because their lips and crushers are raw. And the reason they're raw is because they've been using them quite a lot to you know crush them up and they've been going through a lot of stuff if they've been eating on bait fish their front teeth and bottom teeth they'll be really 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 sharp so just a little tip for reading lips for bass if they've been red and dull that means they've been crushing stuff like crawdads use maybe a jig or a bottom bait something like that but if they're sharp and you know really fine and sharp use a bait fish bait because they've been eating on bait fish and that's just a little quick tip for you but like i said yesterday on saturdays we're gonna start doing the verse of the week what day is it? It's Saturday. Let's go do the verse of the week, baby. This week's verse comes out of Psalms, and it seems like the last few weeks have actually came out of Psalms. But why? Well, it's actually got, a, you know, it's like, it's a big chunk of the Bible, okay? It's got a lot of chances to have a good verse. But anyways, today's verse is Psalms 140, 12. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted, 
and justice for the poor. Now what that's basically saying is that our God is a just God. And because he is a just God, he goes for justice. And what justice means is that let's say you get cheated. Let's say someone scams you, you get cheated, you get you get the bad part of the deal, and someone profits off you getting cheated. Don't worry guys, like don't go retaliate. Don't go shoot that guy. He just, you know, he messed up. He'll pay for it. You got the bad part of the deal, you'll get paid for it. So the cheater will pay for it, and you'll get paid for it. Sort of? Am I making any sense here? So basically what I'm saying is our God is a just God. And that if you get cheated on a deal, it's okay guys. Just hang in there. Hang in there. Don't do anything mean. Just, you know, hang in there. Take the beating. Take the blame. But God will repay you. And God is honestly going to make everything right. If you look at a situation and it's jacked up, just be patient. Hang in there. Have faith that God will fix it. And God will work everything out. That is a fact of life. And so, Grey Gang, go ahead and smash the like button for me. If you're not in the Grey Gang yet, which means you're not subscribe go ahead subscribe and you know be a part of the gray gang and just a real quick reminder if you want to support breast cancer awareness head on over kindlegray1.com slash shop and pick you up one of these limited edition shirts along with a hat if you want to make me really happy but anyways roll the outro if you're not part of the gray gang go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left as always favorite squad post it up down low if you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.